so glad to be here. Last week I did not do a video. It has been a crazy week, but I just wanted to share with you um, a nail haul, you might say, for decorating your nails. So we're going to start out with things that I had gotten from Joanne Fabrics. Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? These are glitter flakes that you can put on your nails and make it look like broken glass. They're like cellophane, little crystal flakes. And um, they are like the cutest things. So I got this package here. I'm going to try working with art with that. And then I found some rhinestone plastic rhinestones and that's what I have on my nails here these are going on two weeks and what I found is you can put them on with kiss uh, nail glue or this you can pick up at five below and it's brush on pink nail glue and the consistency of a brush on I really like it's like really simple nice brush just dab it on and you're able to place your rhinestones now I use this this is actually a um, you can pick this up at Aldi's and what it is it's I use it as a cotton ball holder for removing my manicures that with nail polish this is gel that I have on but I can pick up my rhinestones with this and place them it's a bit tricky but you can do it with this with a rhinestone otherwise you can get a rhinestone picker and you can place them and they're like made out of wax but at joanne fabrics they have all these nice little rhinestones i these ones are a bit big these are five millimeter i believe and they are a tad big to fit on the nail and and my nail beds are pretty you know rounded but I tried and there's like always this piece that that rose so the three millimeter this size really does work then I got some colored ones where the red ones are a bit smaller to make designs and then I was on YouTube and there's this another lady who is long hair pretty nails and she does an excellent job with her manicures and I ordered from her store premium nail crystals now these are gorgeous they come in all different shapes well they come in she has different shapes but these ones are different sizes so we can get this off for you and look at that, from the very tiniest little pieces all the way up to, I think, what would be considered five millimeter. Nope, nope, perfect, much smaller than the five millimeter. So here we have, let's see, does it say multi-size? And then here's her logo. But I cannot wait to try these. So as I got one, I got the gold this bronze color, this rose gold, and this yellow. I knew once I opened up these bags, they are gonna go everywhere. They are not resealable, which is fine. So from Dollar Tree, they have these glass little bottles. They have plastic little bottles like this storage containers and they also have something like this so when you have a whole set you can put them in according to size or color into this so this is perfect um, putting all these in here so how should how would you do it would you put them all in in one size or would would you put them in each individual size or would you put one color in each little container? I don't know. These I would probably put it in by size. But I only got like two of these, two of these sets. 
and, and that? Or would you just put them all together and then... I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think about that. So I am excited about this bling. I love doing my nails with it. They've lasted. Um, <laughs> it is two weeks and I have done a lot of housework and it's been a busy week. Lots of washing hands. So if you're having a hard time keeping your crystals on, use nail glue and then try as carefully as possible to go around it with your gel top coat and just try and seal it in with a small brush. Just brush in between your stones here. I did get my gel top coat on top of my nail and it took away the the shine. It really did. This side really did it. But over time it does wear off and they are getting a bit shinier because of being brushed up against and stuff. But they stayed on. This nail hmm, has always been my problem child. My mani fell off. It looked the same as this one. So I just used some Sally Hansen pink and with like a uh, a glitter top coat and made it match as po much as possible. I was pretty busy. So that is the bling that I got. And then I, I have just been enjoying myself with my manicures. Let me see here. I got this over Mark Harry. I love Mark Harry. This it has adhesive. This is a cheaper type of gem picker upper. It is made out of wax and it should be able to pick up gems, but we'll we'll find out. Let's see here. Let's see if we can pick up a few. See if we'll actually pick these up and put them back in the bag for me. Yeah. So you just grab it. Yep. And place it. Like that. And it should do it. Good. It does work. So these cheap little wax wax things do pick up the gems pretty easily. It doesn't come off all that simple. So that's good. It does work. And then you just keep sharpening it. If you want it to be more pointed with a like pencil sharpener something like that so that works nice or you can get the more the more sophisticated ones then I got water decals to go on the hands on your manicures there's like all these different water decals that you can put on I love Mark Harry because it's cheaper shipping sometimes in other places, but I've enjoyed it. So those are water decals that I picked up, and I will be organizing here soon. I can't wait to use those. This time I just stamped my design on the side of my nail, and then I picked up the these gems, and they are so tiny, so pretty. They look a lot like these with their shimmer and shine. They are numbered. They're numbered right here with how tiny they are. Let's see if I can open this without stones going everywhere. Wouldn't that be something? Huh? So they are just really teeny tiny little stones and you can see how shimmery that is. Oh, I love it. So that is a nice case. I love this case, how the, it came with that. And then in this bag from the seller came some of these that you can decorate. You like put these as your, your center, like right here. And then you can like decorate around it and they shimmer so nicely. And then you can use these to pick up your gems or these. These can help pick up stickers. So good. Love them. So got those. I will be organizing here pretty soon. And this is nice adhesive that you could use for um, foil, foil wraps, or even your gems. Maniology. This last, I think it's July 4th. Yes, <laughs> it's been a while. Had a $4 sale. And so on plates, and then this was their five 
five plates for $15. That's what's this section. These were $4 sale for the 4th of July. These were $4. As my little stamper has seen better days. Yes, when you have... When, when you enjoy sharing your love of manicures with friends, family, and children. I am so grateful for the lids because this is acetone right here. It splattered this little bottle right here. When you press on the top, sometimes it splatters. And I always try to keep the caps as much as possible on my jelly stampers because you don't want this to look like that. And it has been getting rather, ah, uh, well used, you might say. And I am messy with it. So that's what this, they had the spring ice cream stamper. And it is so pretty. It's yellow. And it is so much clearer. And this was $4. As, and sometimes, mainly they're $10. For a, for a replacement stamp. Ah, let me open this. And look at that, it's yellow. How pretty. And it is so clear compared to this. So you can see the difference. How wonderful that is to look, be able to stamp. Another thing is, if you have trouble picking up your gems, you can use a, a jelly stamper to pick up your gem and place it on your finger. You can do that. Using nail adhesive, though, nail, nail, uh, that would probably not be good for this. So, placing it in nail polish would work with this, but not with glue. It would be hard to get glue. I think off these stampers. So you just have to use your judgment on how you want to use your stampers with placing gems. It's new. I haven't tried it yet. <laughs> I'm kind of scared too. So, and also with their sale, I got some polishes. Um, let me see here. There is this beautiful Winter's Kiss. This was $4. The only thing is, I did not check. There was a strong nail polish smell in my bag. And I'm like, oh no, it's leaked. But I looked through and they're like, you know what? They're all fine. I got a uh, Bam White because I needed more white. I wanted to try theirs. And then I got Nutmeg. Both of these I had seen great reviews on. And so I picked out these three to have, and there was a strong nail polish scent. Come to find out, it had leaked, but not all over everything, as you can see that. And you can see where it started to melt the inside of it. So it leaked a lot. There's probably not very much in this. So when you get your package, if you smell nail polish that's very strong, open it up and check your bottles and tighten them. Just tighten them for storage. So I'll be swatching those for you. But aren't these amazing? This one right here. Let me get my tweezers. And see this is the um, Maniology M169. It was for New Year's, but I didn't have too many uh, fireworks and 4th of July plates, and I was late this year getting a 4th of July Manny, but I just wanted this one because of the Let's Party, and then there's the Statue of Liberty. This looks like Chicago, and I think that's another state. Maybe California, but it has uh, this because that's the Empire State Building, I think, right there. I'm not sure, but you know that looks like the Statue of Liberty, and these are just major cities. But all the fireworks that you can do, and isn't that just so cool? Here's another fireworks. This is London, and the 
and those towers right there you can see that bridge London Bridge and then their skyline over there Happy New Year let's make poor decisions <laughs> Happy New Year yes <laughs> poor decisions I well poor I guess yes it's a pun but that's funny best is yet to come yes I believe that think positively right all right, so that is a cool plate. This one, oh, mountains and camping. This would be a, a great time to be out camping. You know what? Be close to family, do things together. Be out in the outdoors. Don't just be inside a lot, get fresh air. And look at that. Isn't that nice? The trees, camp life. Oh, all the barbecues. This would be great for like Memorial Day or Labor Day picnics, all that. There's a map. Let's get dirty. Yes, with dirt. Little tent, tree, mountains. You can get most of that on the thumb. The stars are better company. Oh, that's neat. S'mores, please. Barbecue party in the sun. That's what that one says right there. Camping Queen, here's a bear, and then travel trailers that are just so cute. I've seen those teardrop trailers, and they are the cutest. They would pull really good maybe behind a minivan? I don't know. Let me know about teardrop, teardrop campers. It would be really fun to get one for, for our minivan. And then here's an eagle. It says Happy Camper, and here's s'mores. So s'mores, please, and put the s'mores right there. Oh, so good. And then this one, Adventure is Calling. Oh, that's cute. So that is fun. Ooh, here's another. This is the 4th of July one. I really wanted this one so badly for Memorial Day. But I never did pick it up. And then they had their sale. And there it is. Ooh, got a little bit of oils on it, but... I like that that star because you can like put it like right down the middle of your finger we the people fireworks made in the USA you know that's hard to find made in the USA that is just so hard to find American made and then all these different plaids that you can put together and reverse stamp that that would be so fun to reverse stamp stars the American flag some camouflage and stars. You can reverse stamp that. Make that look really cute. Statue of Liberty. There's the fireworks that you can just put all over your fingers. Yay! Stars! Fireworks! Boom! We had fun setting off fireworks this year. I must say, we did have fun. We did a yard sale and then we spent the money on fireworks. And it was <laughs> a blast. Kids love it. And here's Christmas. Yes, I am thinking of Christmas already. I love doing Christmas holiday manicures, and this year it will be even better because of maniology. You know how you just do stripes on your fingers, and it's like, oh, there has to be something better. And so it says, let it snow, be jolly, Merry Christmas, tis the season, season greetings, and baby, it's cold outside. And here's a garland and a candle, a bell, and uh, candy canes. Oh, I love Christmas. All the lights, all the houses being decorated. Just how cheerful it is. Maybe, maybe not everybody's cheerful during the season, but, well, I can't help that. I like Christmas. Um, I like Thanksgiving. I think that is like the most underrated holiday in the United States, Thanksgiving. We need to be thankful and grateful, which is pretty hard to find when all of a sudden Black Friday comes around and everyone just pummels each other to get to the front door of the shopping mall. <laughs> we're all thankful for one day and boom, now we're not. Oh, this is, this is fun. Um, the reindeer and you can put little faces. Isn't that just the cutest little faces? with with the reindeer and it says dear santa i've been good ish 
This is naughty or nice and a question mark. Dear Santa, just bring wine. <laughs> <laughs> or coffee. I would put coffee. I have a coffee plate and I would stamp just that and I said, Dear Santa, just bring coffee. Have a jolly Christmas. And then you can put little faces and hats on these little gingerbread men. Oh, I almost want to decorate it with it now. Here is a cartoonish type of deer that's like with a little. Oh, that's a scarf. He's not waving hi. It's a scarf. Oops, sorry, I'm out of, I'm out of focus. All right, so those Not are focus. the ones I got individually. And then this was the fifth, five plates for $15, which came out to four bucks anyway, per plate, basically, if I got my math right. This is a bunch of geometric shapes, uh, which is pretty cool. Oh. So this can be used in so many different ways. Here's like hound's tooth over here. So if you have a dress and you are trying to match the patterns of your dress that you have, that would be a neat one to do if you're like doing that, you know, tweed suit, something like that, or just into geometric shapes. That is a really cool plate. This one, I was so grateful to get this one. This is Maniology's M118, and it is so beautiful. When you see finished manicures with this plate, they've really done it. Plaid and sunflowers. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And there's different flowers, different stripes, and it says Bloomin' Baby. Smile, hello sunshine, stay wild up there, and then it's just a beautiful, beautiful plate. I had my eye on this, and it showed up in this uh, bundle, and I was like, yay! So that one is a lot of fun. Ooh, hoo, hoo. oh yeah. this. When I saw it, I was like, oh, this is going to be cool. Maniology's M069. It has different leaves. You can just use your imagination with the different leaves. It looks almost like a peacock feather on this one. But then the bridge and all the different designs with the lily pads and the lily flowers and just, oh, that is so neat. I like that bridge. Oh, the bridge might fit on the thumb right here. But you can also use stamping on glasses. I have seen where you can take a stamper and you can stamp the images on a, well, you might say a champagne glass, wine glass, tumbler, any type of glass cup, and the paint stays. I've seen that and I thought, oh, wow gonna have to try that one of these days. I got some cups just for that to see if it would work so that might be another video because this one already, already seems to be quite lengthy with all that I've got them. This is really sweet. <laughs> it's flowers with angry faces. <laughs> watering with tears oh that's funny and they all have these like really sour puss faces yeah this one looks pretty angry i i cannot grow anything worth anything i have a very uh, what do you say a black thumb instead of a green thumb it's very difficult for me to grow anything usually i put plants outside and then i say lord I planted them, please send the rain, and then I have to remember, if the rain doesn't come, I have to go out and water it. And I'm like, oh man, I have to pay for water in the city. And so maybe my plants look at me like this because I haven't watered them often enough. That's a rather disturbing thought. That is pretty cool. 
And the last one from the 5 for 15 bundle. Different animals from the forest and the desert. There's a little kitty cat here. This looks like a raccoon, a chipmunk, a hedgehog, and a rabbit, and a deer. Isn't that so cute? That deer is so cute right there. Right there, right there. This one, this one's waving at you. Oh, you know, it's a prairie dog and a chameleon, a little fox, ooh, a scorpion, <laughs> a camel, and a snake. And the sun and little cactuses, and they all would fit so cutely on a finger. Sometimes I like measuring with my finger over the plate, seeing how they would look on my finger. You know, the rabbit, maybe on that one. Yes, that is a natural nail. I finally got it to grow out with my gel. I love gel nail polish because with the base, as you can see, this is pretty worn, but you can re-stamp this. You can take acetone carefully around the gem and then re-stamp another image over the top when, and then use a uh, smear, smearless top coat from Maniology, where it, smudge free, that's it, a smudge free top coat. And you can just wipe this off and do another color, do something else over the top of that. So I love gel. I'm starting to get really into it. So that is my Maniology haul, which they are really, really cute.